Ukrainian officials are accusing Russian troops of looting and occupying empty houses in Kherson. Russia denies the allegations. Russian held Kherson on the west bank of the Dnipro River that bisects Ukraine is now a key focus for Ukraine's counteroffensive in the south. Ukrainian forces on the nearby front line anticipate the resumption of fierce fighting there. In recent days, Russia has ordered civilians out of Kherson, and now a Russia-installed official in the region says that that mass evacuation is over. The city of Kherson is in a state of anticipation now. Those people who left the right bank part of Kherson region for the left bank are in a safer condition. The mass evacuation of the population is over. People may now live individually if they apply for evacuation via their hotline. But I repeat, they must do it individually today. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky says he is open to talks with Russia but only genuine negotiations that would restore Ukraine's borders, grant it compensation for Russian attacks and punish those responsible for war crimes. Zelensky says the Donetsk region in the east remains the epicenter of fighting in the conflict. The Donetsk region remains the epicenter of the greatest madness of the occupiers. Hundreds die daily. The ground before the Ukrainian positions is littered with bodies of the occupiers. In general, at the front, our forces are in state of active defense. In some areas of the east and south, we are gradually pushing back the enemy. Step by step, we are moving forward. The U.S. has recently accused North Korea of co covertly supplying Russia with a significant number of artillery shells. North Korea now says it has never had arms dealings with Russia and has no plans to do so.